YouTube University, my name is Jovan, and today I'm going to be showing you a corrective 45 degree angle bob cut on sister locks and or you can also do this style on locks. Now today we have a good client here, her name is Lisa. So Lisa, how long has it been since you've been growing your hair before you decided to get a cut? I have been growing my sister locks for five and a half years um, and it was down, it was cut in layers but the longest part was down to the middle of my back. And I got it cut for the first time about three weeks ago. Okay. So the person who cut her hair, the stylist that cut her hair, as you can see, is not necessarily correctly aligned with the asymmetric bob, nor does she have the correct layer. So what we're going to do is we're going to give her more volume in her hair, and we're going to straighten out her cut. So this is the before. And then you'll see the after. So I'm going to start off. When you put in layers and sister locks, you want to start off always cutting directly down the middle. So you want to section off about an inch worth of hair. Once you section off about an inch worth of hair straight in the middle of the head, you want to take and you want to hold the lock straight up. What we're going to do is cut blunt, which is straight across. The reason why we're going to cut blunt is okay. Um, it's going to look a little blunt in the beginning, but once she shampooed and her ends unravel and they bloom and fluff out, it's going to be beautiful. So, this is what we're working with now. We're going to cut about maybe almost two inches off. So, we're going to cut her straight across. And this is going to create a lot of that volume effect that we're looking for in the locks. So, what you want to do is take some of the hair that you already cut, bring it up with some of the hair that you need to cut, and do the same thing. Cut it so that it matches. And you're going to go straight back on the head in the middle. So you want to bring it straight up. Now you have to watch how you hold the hair because whether you hold it like this, whether you hold it straight up, it changes the angle of the cut. So in this situation, we want volume throughout her hair, so we're going to bring it straight up to a zero degree. So bend as though we're coming back on the crown of her head. Remember, bring it straight up and out. And you're going to end up with a very blunt look. Pick up some of the hair that you need to cut. And bring with some of the hair that you've already cut. And bring it straight up and out. Now back here. Where she's gotten it cut already short, we don't need to do that much cutting, but we're just going to check it to make sure that it's blended in. Okay, so now that we have our guide, which is directly in the middle, we want to keep her left side shorter than her right side. So tilting the head back so that you can better see, take some of the hair that you've already cut, marry it with some of her hair on her left that you've already cut, excuse me, that you need to cut. So take some of the hair out the middle that you've already cut, marry it with some of her hair on her left where it's shorter at that you need to cut. Now we're going to change the angle position of how you cut the hair on the side. Instead of bringing it straight up, which is going to leave us with length. Bend as though this side we're going to take length away, we're going to put it more on an angle. So if we put it more on an angle, you see how much we're going to need to cut off versus if we bring it straight up, this is all we'll be cutting off. So you have to make sure you have the right angle in. And bend as though this side is short, this is how much we're going to take off this left side. Now her right side is where she's going to keep the length. But we still want layers in her hair. So you follow all the way back. Straighten out all the locks. And then you snip and cut. 
you pick up some of the hair and you follow the same directions. Pick up some of the hair that you've already cut, marry it with some of the hair that you did not cut, and blend it in. And this is how you achieve a layered look. But your angling matters when you're cutting hair. If you don't have the proper angling, your haircut will not turn out right. So I'm going to continue this from the middle all the way down to her left side until we reach the back. So that your angling is better or correct and making sure that you're holding it correctly, you can ask the client to position her head so that you pretty much can hold it directly in front of you versus you trying to turn your body. Remember, Benzo, she's already gotten her back cut. There's not much that we need to do back here besides blend it in a little better. You don't want to cut sister locks too short because it can cause them to unravel, which will take you back to your baby stages of waiting for your locks to mature so that you're not experiencing slippage. Now why it seems like I'm really cutting back here is because she has little curls and I'm just snipping off the little curls from her hair that has opened up and bloomed since she's gotten it cut three weeks ago. Okay, so now what we're going to do now that the whole left side is done. What we're going to do now is take it from the middle where we started off with our guide. Take it from the middle and we're going to marry it to the right. Now we're going to work on the right hand side. Now being as though she wants to keep length on this side, we're going to change the angling of how we're going to cut it. So on our left, we cut it at a 45 degree which took us here. So this will be how much we will be cutting off of her hair. We don't want to cut that much off. So instead, we're going to keep her straight up and out on her left hand side, which will give us longer layers on her right. Straight up and out. And we're going to continue this process all the way till we get to the back. So marry her right with her guide in the middle. Bring it straight up and out. And cut it. This is going to give her longer layers on her right side.
So as you can see, as we get further to the back, she don't have that much length, but we still want to even her out. It's all about blending the cut. If your locks are not blended, it'll be hard to pretty much rock your style in almost any style, even though you have a cut in a particular style. So just like we discussed, me and Lisa, even though she's going to be cutting an asymmetric bob, she's still going to be able to rock her hair in many different ways. She's The difference now is she's going to have shape to her locks. So with her having shape to her locks, her hair is really going to fall nicely. So now I'm going to bring you around to the back and just show you a little of the work. She was already short back here. And you see the little curls that's opening up on her hair. Which is going to give it much definition. All I'm doing is going in here. And as you can see, these are the ones I already cut. These are the ones that I need to cut. So I'm just going to go in here. And I'm just going to even her out. Okay, so now you see all the layers. You see how much more fuller and rounder it is in the back versus before it was pretty much straight and then all this volume down here and this heaviness is called the weight line. So that's where all her weight was at within her locks. Now she doesn't have that. Now she has volume because she has different layers in her hair. So now what I'm doing is I'm just looking to make sure that I cut them all. Now from here, Ben as though I cut her horizontal, I'm going to now check her vertical. So vice versa. So when I first cut her, I cut her ear to ear all the way from front to back. Now to check my cut to make sure that I cut accurately, I'm going to turn her to the side and I'm going to go in and check my cutting just to make sure it's even. So you see his little snippets. So you see that long one that I missed? So I'll just snip it off to blend it in. It's all about blending. And then you do the same thing. Take some of the hair you already checked, bring it with, marry it with some of the hair that you need to check, and bring it together. So you see, she's pretty much even now as I'm going through and checking my cut. So you see as I hold the hair up, it's all even. Wow, look how beautiful that is already. We haven't even styled it. Look at how now she has a very round, full look within her locks from the way we layered it. And we're just going to continue the process. Remember, always using your very first guide that you started off with, which is the one straight down the middle. Always start off in the middle because it's going to bring evenness to your cut because that's your first guide. So remember, Ben's our angling is different over here. These we're just going to pretty much bring straight up.
as you section more out, remember bring it straight up to meet where you've already cut it to check your cut. Remember this process, we're not cutting, we're just checking our cut to make sure that we're even by the way we cut it. So now that we've checked it, do you see the fullness now in her hair? So now we're going to finish off with her border shaping. And with this, with this side, we're going to start off. Ben is over. Remember, she's coming down on a completely asymmetrical bond, which means this side has to be shorter than that side. So this side can be longer. But also we don't want to make it too short because we have to blend it in with her back and she does not have a taper. So we have to be careful on exactly how much she's cutting, how much we're cutting to get this look on her. Can you see? So if you look, her hairline in the back is not that far away. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start it here. And I'm going to snip below my finger and I'm going to cut that much off. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to angle to marry this in with her back. So when I angle it, touch your finger. Touch your finger and marry it. So you see how it's starting to angle? As I complete it, remember to angle it. Another way to help you out with angling is bring it slightly forward. When you blend in the hair, bring it slightly forward. And blend it together. So remember back here in the back, we're just going to trim it up just to have it look clean. It's not much cutting we need to do in the back. And on the side, take from the back where you completed that and still angle. This is the side where you're going to get that long cascading dip. This is the cut we should have right now. Finish it off. Bring the ends that you have short. Marry it with the ends you have long. Tilt the head back. And what you're going to do is you're going to angle them to meet. So it's not such a blunt look when she's wearing it. What, it, what it's going to do is going to give her angles on her left side versus her having straight hair just cascading down. So here we have an angle bob Asymmetric angle bob, which is long on one side and short on the other. Now, once she curls it, styles it, pin it up any kind of way, she can wear it flirty by bringing it all over. Once it's full, full of curls, bringing it 
You see how now it blends perfectly? No matter how you hold the hair up and out. So this completes our 45 degree angle bob cut. So as you can see, she's beveled all the way around. She has her layers in. And she comes around to where she cascades on one side. Now another way to make sure that you've given her a corrective cut is to just flip the hair different ways. If you don't see no long straggly ends, you've definitely done a good job. So this is one way. And imagine her hair curly. And imagine how she can pin it up. So this is one way she can wear it. If she chooses to freestyle it. Another way, being as though we cut one side short, one side long, and even though we blended it in the middle, this is another way she also can wear it. If she gets tired of the very long side, and she wants to switch it up for a minute, she can swing it over to the other side to get a whole nother look. And look as if she's got her hair cut again. Isn't that beautiful? Look at that. And she can put hair accessories and style it as usual. Or she can just freestyle it and go from here. So this is how you know that you've gotten yourself a good cut. If no matter how you hold the hair up, it's even. Okay? So once again, we'd like to thank Lisa for being our model for today and allowing us to cut her in the asymmetric 45 degree angle bob. My name is Jovan. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and thank you YouTube University for taking time out of your day to view my video. Have a great hair day. Thank you.